Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss the introduction on AutoCAD. This is the welcome page of AutoCAD 26. Click on new. We can get a new page, a drafting page. So at first we check the AutoCAD command box. So here control 9 to turn off and turn on the command box. Now we can go for the workspace switching. Initially it will be on drafting and annotation but we have to check if it is whether 3D basic to draw the 3D view or 3D modeling. And today we are discussing the 2D so put it on drafting and annotation and we can see the commands like this by when we put the work phase switching to drafting and annotation. Now moving to the toolbar so on the left we can see draw command, modify command, annotation, layers, block, properties and so on. Now we can change the layout into a much simpler version by click, double clicking on the toolbar and when we press double click again we can get this type of layout on the toolbar. Now we check the units. So we have to put the precision to 0, 0.0 for our normal drawing then we check the units and set it to millimeters then click ok moving on to discuss the limits when we click a command we can see the x axis and the y axis value is so large because it is randomly placed anywhere in this layout so we have to put our limits now so click limits or type limits we can set the lower left corner to 0 comma 0 that will be the origin and to set on a a3 sheet we click the 420 comma 297 now if we check the zoom extend and when we go for an command we can see the x value and the y value coming to a smaller one within our a3 size limit so now we can see the y axis and the x axis and the origin moving on to correct the zoom so we can type zoom and click on all zoom all we can see several options it's better to click on zoom all now we will come inside the limit now we are discussing about the object snap or o snap we can type at o s n a p object snap we have to select all the options it will help our drawing to locate the center point uh, the midpoint, the tangent, everything, the endpoints, and we can set the grid the, to set the grid on and off by clicking F7. Click OK. As we said earlier, we can turn off and on the grid by clicking F7 or here, and we can see the snap grid option also. So the snap grid help us to snap on the grid points we can when we zoom it on we can see the point mouse pointer will only go on the grid outer and when we click it off we can randomly go anywhere in this drawing layout now we can discuss the pan option so click on the mouse wheel then roll it forward and backward to zoom in and zoom out so we can pan and zoom in and zoom out using that moving on to discuss the line options properties we can set the line color here and we can set the line weight and we can set the line type normally we can see only this by layer by block continuous we can load the center line we can check scroll down and see the center center 2x or it will be smaller and we can click ok then we can also load the dash line for the hidden edges 
we can see here also dash dash 2 which will be sl smaller and dash x2 will be larger lines and we can click on the ok as we can see the line types we loaded and we can edit the details because we can uh, edit the size of the uh, loaded lines the dash lines the center lines everything here and click ok now we can see the loaded lines type here the center the continuous the dash everything the bilayer by box help us to see the lines in different color from the background moving on to discuss another powerful tool the ortho mode f8 as we can see the line is tilting here when we draw randomly to aid our drawing to click on the f8 or the ortho mode now when we draw the line became straight or in 90 degree lines so that will be done with the help of the ortho mode moving on to discuss the polar tracking that means we can set the lines in certain angles also so we when we tilt we can see when we put the ortho mode we can see only 90 degrees now we can see the progressive angles here uh, the green line shows the progressive angles we need to draw everything we can set with the polar tracking it will aid our drawing in certain angles now go back the we can switch the ortho mode and the polar tracking here now there are two type of selection we can see when we click and drag to the right side we can see a blue selection the particularities of the blue selection we have to cover the whole object to turn on the selection we have to cover the whole subject now we are discussing the green selection to the left side it only need a touch on that object to select moving on in the next video we will discuss about the draw commands the modify commands the annotations the layers the block and everything thanks for watching